All right, since my 470 is starting to bite the dust, remember that last video with the autofocus mechanism problems? Well, this is the camera in question. A little A470, I got the Goodwill in really horrible shape. Looks like it's been abused by a four-year-old to me. If you want the complete and harsh truth about it, if you don't, the sexist version of that. Because the other version, that's very sexist. So I'm not gonna say it. So, what did I do? Because my old camera failed, I wasn't in the mood to buy a new one for a hundred bucks. I knew Radio Shack was having a deal on some clearance deals, clearance cameras. So I head down there and I picked one up. I wanted the other one with the battery and everything, but it was gone, unfortunately. But they still had this one, so this is what I got because I was also entertaining thoughts of this if the other one was gone. And for the price, I couldn't pass it up. Now, before I go into this, I paid $49.88 for it. So it's about 53 bucks after taxes. $49.88 before tax, 53 bucks after tax. So let's open the camera and see what it has in it. Please note, I did use it before in a SX-150 text test clip, so there is a strap on it. But I left the neutral can strap in the box, because I don't want to use it, and I have one from the A470 I'm going to use. So let's open them and see what I get in the box. Paperwork you're never going to read ever. Seriously, why do these companies still include this crap? No one fills out the warranty forms or read the manu reads the manuals. Put them all on a disc and save some damn paper for once. Please. That's just going to rot in the box and I'm never going to use it. So why include it? Just put it on the CD so it's less of a waste of paper. Just There's the cardboard piece that covers the camera up. There's the batteries. No, I'm not going to use these. I don't use alkaline batteries in these cameras if I can help it because they just don't seem to last. If I need batteries in a pinch, I will use those, but not until then. There's the video cable, the USB cable. They no longer include audio cables with these cameras. Kind of annoying these days, but what can you do about it? being a standard definition? No one probably used it. They figured they could omit it and save 10 cents. I'm not bothered by it because I'm, I never used it and I have a million of them. So it's not a big deal to me personally because I have some. There's the camera. Now I did use this before for a test video. So it has been used. So there's my new camera. 49.88 for a 14 megapixel 12 time zoom camera. But this was a floor model, as I added before. So I got this, you know, it's a floor model because the price was right, especially for a camera of its class. And I take it you have used my serial video, but there's no button for the flash. What I'm used to in these old SX140s is there's a button back here, and there's a button here. You flip it up by hand nowadays. But I like that because you don't have to worry about the flash going off. Well, you don't want it to when it's done software. Because on the A470, it's done software. It goes back on after you turn the camera off and turn it back on. With this, you don't have that problem. It won't even use the flash when that's flipped shut. So that's a better design from the get-go. But as this strap, I'm not going to use it. I don't need it, and I rarely leave in the original package. Original batteries are there for backup purposes only. I've got a set I'm going to use, so I'm not going to need those. But that's it for the unboxing video on this camera that I just got for $49.88. Hmm. Nice camera, though, from the one I see in the video. I even tested the pictures with it. It's pretty freaking good. Not bad for the price, if you ask for me. That's why I got it, because my old one has autofocus issues, which is the A470 over here. If you watch my previous video on this, you'll know what the problem is. It sounds a little funky in that one. This one doesn't sound that funky. 
that the gears are off or falling, failing or something. I don't know, and quite frankly, I don't care. It's not worth messing with it because they're a pain in the ass to take them apart. The lenses are a pill to take apart, and if you get dust in the sensor, you're going to get dust in your pictures. Same thing with dust in the lens internally. It's better just to replace the lens, and those are like 30 bucks. I got this for 15, 15 bucks more, essentially, maybe 19 bucks more, to replace it with this on clearance than to fix that one. Got more megapixels and more zoom. So I just went for it, and I'm going to keep the A470 as a future project, or a backup camera. I don't really know yet, but I'll find a use for it eventually, because I initially got that for the memory card, as I said in the video when I first got that thing. Well, and I didn't mention I got a really nice camera, and I took advantage of the camera part for three or four months before it started to get dodgy enough that I couldn't use it as well as I like. And I figured it was just time to bite the bullet and just say goodbye to that thing and get this one. And I seen this. I was sold. I got it from the get-go. Because I needed, I needed a camera that worked right. This was sitting there for $49.88. And it was on clearance. And it's a really nice camera for the money. <laughs> That's what happens when you look around retail once in a while. You find things like this on clearance. I don't go in stores much. This was something I got because I seen it and I was interested. And I ended up with it because my old camera decided to be a little piece of shit and the autofocus failed.